Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial of our software testing bootcamp and today with our very first tutorial on the chapter one we're getting started with the basics of software testing. As a part of this particular chapter we'll be talking about a lot of fundamental concepts like what exactly testing is all about, why testing is important and uh, principles of testing, several other things like test process and understanding each and every phase of it uh, in order to get to the detailed understanding of the fundamentals and basics of software testing which will give you an overview of that what exactly does software testing means about right a test process altogether what does it consist of and being a tester how you will be participating within an organization while contributing as a QA engineer and to get started the very first topic we're talking about today is what is testing now, what is testing is a big thing to be answered at any point because uh, we do have different definitions to it. Now, testing in general is all about validating <clears throat> a system before releasing it to the end users. Now, validating is all about making sure that it is confirming to the requirements, there are certain expectations, and making sure that everything what is being built is working according to the expectations. Because at any point, if you are validating a system which does not fulfill the needs of the customer or the end user, it's a completely waste, right? And a very simple example, if you go to a shop and you look forward to buy a pen, right? Or maybe a pencil or anything else, and you ask the shopkeeper, hey, how are you doing this morning? And can I have a pen, right? A red color ink pen and they give you a black color ink pen, you do pretty much understand that the shopkeeper has some deficiency in listening to you, right? Or he does not understand your requirement and fulfilling something else than what you are looking for. So same way here, when it comes to our uh, validation check or validation performance of our testing work, it's more about making sure that what exactly are the expectations from the business and are we meeting them? If yes, up to what extent? because there could be partial fulfillment of the requirements and we need to validate that. But when it comes to the definition of testing, you may hear or come across several set of definitions in the different portals or different people will have different definitions. The reason is that testing is not rigid. It is practiced differently from different perceptions, different industry specific types or driven by certain standards or even when it comes to domain specifications. For example, a mobile application is not tested. How do you test an automotive application? Similarly, an e-commerce website is not tested how a safety critical system is tested or vice versa. So that's where when people come back with their definition, they may look a little different on their terminologies they may look a different on their definition to testing because they have certainly a lot of things to be taken into account when compared to a ordinary web-based application, right? So that's where you may hear people stating a different definition to it. But do we have a generic definition to it? Yes, of course. Testing is all about making sure that whatever is being built has to be validated with respect to the given requirements. Right? So we just have to make sure at the end of the day that we fulfill all the requirements what is given to us. But what are the major constraints, major parameters when we're talking about the definition depends on several parameters, right? So what are those parameters which we should be looking forward to when trying to test any project, right? So here, testing can have different objectives depending on the context again, but majorly these items will be there no matter which industry, which domain, which product you are testing. So for example, validating the functional and non-functional requirements. So any sort of requirements, be it functional, be it non-functional, will be tested as a part of the testing life cycle. During the testing life cycle, you generally tend to find defects where we'll be defining more about and deeping, deep diving into what exactly defects are. But here, yes, we look forward to find defects as in one of the major objectives. Preventing defects is also our responsibility. That means if we can prevent defects to happen by finding defects or observations by analyzing the requirements, analyzing the designs, etc., will be another asset for us because 
kind of statement says that uh, finding a defect much earlier in the life cycle is cheaper to fix. So you would certainly learn about each of these points later in detail. Stay tuned for that. But right now, we're just giving you an overview of all these terminologies and major objectives, providing information for decision making, which pretty much says that we, while testing a product, right, we consistently keep sharing our status progress or update on how we are progressing so that the management, which is project management, release management, can make a decision on that right? So we consistently keep providing necessary information to various stakeholders who are interested to know what exactly is going on from the testing, how long do we need to complete it, and by when we can see the product. Similarly, we talk about mitigating risk. We'll be talking about risk in more details, but yes, by testing, you can reduce the level of risk or even mitigate the risk. Gaining confidence by interacting with the product with several test cases and testing it for a longer duration, you can certainly gain confidence. No matter how long you have been testing your product, if you do not have the confidence on the product quality, there's no point releasing the product. So you may need some more time. You can look forward to have some extension and perform those necessary remaining tests, which would give you the confidence before you push it to the client or the market. Meaning any other requirement, any other sort of requirements like contractual, operational, compliances, etc. Any project is just not limited to functional or non-functional requirement. Sometimes they do have SLAs, they do have a contract, they do have some operational expectations like environment details, portability, etc. Or even compliances. So you need to be making sure that if there are any standards in place, you meet them. Right? That also becomes certain set of requirements for you. Testing is a process of enhancing the quality of a product or system by finding and fixing defects, reducing the risk and confirmation to requirement before releasing to the end user or the customer. So that's the definition of testing, which I wanted to pass on to you at this point of time. We'll be looking forward to elaborate this definition in more detail, like what exactly is product and system, what exactly is difference between end user and customer, and many more things, right? So slowly, one after the other. Also to add more on this topic that what is testing, uh, testing is a lot of people have an intuition that testing is all about executing the test cases, right? Just interacting with the product is what we call it as testing. And that's where people say testing is easy, right? Having a sarcasm kind of expression stating that really, Testing is easy. Now, this tutorial playlist is going to have more than 50 tutorials to tell you that testing is not easy, right? So testing is just not limited to a particular set of action like executing test cases. It would certainly have a lot of activities happening before that, happening after that. And we want to make sure that being a tester, you know all those activities. So again, those who are looking forward to this uh, from a perspective of making your career in testing, please be sure that your job is not just to run the test or write the test cases and execute them. You have pretty much a lot of the responsibilities to be taken into account while working on a product. So testing has so many activities to be performed. And here is a quick list of on the high level that what are the major activities which we perform as a part of the testing life cycle. Like we have test planning activities. We define the strategy and approach. We review the work products. And here work product means anything which is created as a part of the entire project. The writing of the test cases, preparing the test suites, uh, you know, executing the test cases, test monitoring, that is ongoing progress track, test reporting, we certainly create a lot of reports which we populate to the management and the various other stakeholders, talking about environment constraints, setting it up for execution, and many other things, including automation approach, making use of tools, and many other factors, right? So testing is just not straightforward that you pick up some test cases, take the application and start running that and that's your job on day to day basis. Now, right when the project begins, you have several different responsibilities to contribute on and slowly as you proceed ahead, you have certain executions to be done. You definitely prepare for it. 
you do make sure that each item is traceable you have many other factors which we certainly take into look the reason i'm not talking about every bit and pieces here right now because it will just create unnecessary question mark in your mind so we'll be talking about each of these bits and pieces in our upcoming tutorials one after the other in the sequence so i will not be repeating this statement every tutorial but just understand that there is a list of things which will be happening in in the right sequence and you'll get all your answers one after the other so keeping it short and simple that's all we had from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning